Hello and welcome back to the Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matson. and we've been going through the book of 1 Timothy. We find ourselves in chapter 4. We're looking at verse 1 today and it reads as follows. Well, verses 1 and 2. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared, with a hot iron. Well, as I was going through this, I learned a new word today. According to Strong's Concordance, the word lies here means mendacious, M-E-N-D-A-C-I-O-U-S, mendacious, and that means given to divergence from absolute truth, given to divergence from absolute truth. So these false teachers seek to put two faces on the absolute truth of the word of God. Hence the word hypocrisy is used because what is a hypocrite if someone who was not two-faced? And you can easily see why this is referred to as doctrine of demons because the original doctrine of demons was laid bare for all of us to see in the Garden of Eden when the snake planted that seed of doubt in Eve's mind with those infamous words, Did God really say? Now this strategy is still employed by the evil one and we only need to look around the church in America today to see it being played out. Did God really say this, for instance, in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10? Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, he says. Do not be taken in by these false teachers who ignore these truths and claim that this is not absolute truth. The truth is, these sins condemn those who continue to live in them. But they don't have to if one heeds the absolute truth found in verse 11, found in the next verse, which says, And such were some of you. But you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. You see, these sins don't have to identify you. Turn to Jesus and allow him to deliver you from their bondage and condemnation. The conscience of the church is being seared right now before our eyes, and that's the natural consequence of those who play around with absolute truth and try to put two faces on it. A seared conscience is one that has been rendered insensitive. It no longer can discern what is right and what is wrong. May God help us. God, raise up preachers and teachers who aren't afraid to say, Thus saith the Lord. Well, that's all the time we have for today. May God bless you. Thank you much for uh, listening. And remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.